We didn't room together our rookie year, but we roomed together every other year uh, after that, and we became best friends uh, right away. I think our uh, our friendship was sealed down in uh, uh, Houston after we got in a big brawl. Two minute warning comes up to me. Watch my back. We're in the Houston Astrodome, and at the gun, I, I'm like, okay. He comes across the field. He's going to go get Vernon Perry, right? Well, all of a sudden, I realize it's just me and him and the whole Houston Oiler team. I'm thinking. Hey, maybe this isn't the wisest thing, but I've had his back ever since then, you know? It's hard to imagine these two teddy bear guys brawling. They have woven themselves into the fabric of the Steelers and the community for nearly 40 years. And not all of their work on the north side is analyzing football. Their strong faith in God has led them to work tirelessly for the homeless and the light of life mission. Their annual benefit walk has become a rite of spring. The whole goal is not just the meal, it's not just the, the overnight shelter, it's to get them upstairs uh, and get them in the program. You know, you come in here and uh, you start learning skills, you learn how to interview, you learn how to fill out a resume, you learn, you know, that you start learning life skills that we take for granted. On game day, Tunch works the booth with Bill Hillgrove and has for 21 years now. Wolf is the rookie of the group, only in his 17th season, roaming the sidelines. A craft they still work diligently. Watch this. A little more of the ace right. formation. I focus on coverages, blitzes. The biggest thing about it is we watch film together. You know, and so you get a scouting report in your head of watching the matchups that you want to highlight. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the locker room. He's Wolf, I'm Tunch, and uh, this is Friday, so it is our scouting report. And then there's their daily radio show on ESPN 970. Yeah, was, Public proof that these two former offensive team. linemen are living the dream. We had the greatest job in the world uh, playing in the National Football League. Now we have the second greatest. We get to talk about it. You know, we're not curing cancer. Yeah. We, are, we are part and parcel of painting the picture of the best game in the world you know, and, and the best team in the world. Of course, the best team in the world has had its issues to start this season, but these two have had football ups and downs together for 38 years. What matters most is their friendship. We have always said uh, we're twin brothers from different mothers. <laughs> you know, my mom thinks she's got four boys. Her mom thinks she's got two. He is definitely a brother to me. I mean, I, I could call on him as a friend any time of day or night, and I know that he's got my back. And I, if, I, if I'm hurting, I know he's going to pray for me. I know he's going to try to cheer me up. And uh, I know he's always going to be there. Just like he was in that Astrodome brawl so many years ago.